So welcome back to the second video of module six. And in this video, we're gonna do a really great exercise that are gonna help you develop your character strengths even further. Now, hopefully you have easily defined your 10 character strengths in the worksheet that we did earlier and really got clear around what each one of those character strengths mean to you. As we've spoken about before, language is such an individual process. And what we language, we really experience. So if we are focusing on our automatic negative thoughts, we will create negative feelings. If we're focusing on our pets, our positive emotional thoughts, then we'll create solid, purposeful, healthy language that helps us move forward in a confident way. And this is the idea of really defining your character strengths. And utilizing these character strengths means that you have clarity around what the best version of yourself is and how you communicate that internally as well as externally. Because having the awareness of your character strengths changes that inner story. Instead of saying, I can't, or instead of focusing on the stress, when we start to utilize these character strengths as the foundation of our healthy, positive emotional thoughts, for example, I am calm, I am confident, I am strong, I am wise, I am compassionate. When we start to use these and understand the activities that support them, we create healthy thinking and behavioral habits that support our growth. So take a look at worksheet number two that came with this module, the Be Do Have worksheet. You'll need that worksheet to work through this activity now. Now the Be Do Have model is one of my favorite models to work with when we talk about behavioral change. It's such a great way of getting really clear about the concept of who do we have to be and what do we have to do to have what we want to have. It gives us an equation for mastering our virtues and our values. And we're gonna go through each one of those compartments here and give you a real manifest and a plan of how you can be your best self and manage yourself really clearly in situations. Now, the B is about who we are being. It's about being and owning these character strengths. So really list your 10 words there. And what you may want to do is really work through each one of these individually. So let's start with your first character strengths, the one that you are identifying that you need the most help with. So if you had to look at the list of 10, which one would you rate the lowest? Which one do you feel you really need to work on the most? Let's start with that one. So list that character strength under the B column and get really clear around how you define that. For example, if I'm writing compassion as my number one character strength there, I'll define it as this is me being the ability to be more accepting and detached and understanding of myself and others. So I'll write that in the first column under the word be. The do represents our behavior. It represents our habits, our thoughts, and the actions that we take to really be that value. So what we want to do is we want to take these words that are right now just nouns and we're going to turn them into verbs. We're going to action them by looking at not only how can I be compassion as a noun, but how can I be compassionate? What's the doing of compassionate? What do I do every moment to activate being compassionate? So for example, that may mean that I am less judgmental and I'm more understanding. 
So my action is instead of emotionally react or take things personally, I'm going to step back and I'm going to think about what's happening for another person before I just mindlessly react to them. So what we're doing here is we're really teaching ourselves the strategies to being and developing our our character strengths. So think about all those habits that you can be and what do you need to do every single day. So for example, I may practice mindfulness every day to help me work with my strength and to help me work with being more calm and focused and connected and manage my stress effectively. I may use journaling as a daily tool to just really connect with my feelings a bit more. I'm going to activate the power of the pause. I'm going to stop and think before I act. Now just that one habit is going to disrupt my pattern, my emotional pattern, and help me develop greater mindfulness and better compassion. Now in the have column, think about what that's going to give you. What will you have in your life as a result of being and doing your character strength? So if I use that compassion example again, if I am being compassionate, and I'm doing all the habits of what compassion looks like in my moment to moment actions and activities, then that's gonna give me a lot more inner peace. It's gonna give me a lot healthier and harmonious relationships, and it's gonna make me feel stronger and more confident in situations that I may have become really emotional with. So that's gonna be in my have column. So take a moment to work through each one of these character strengths. Just use this worksheet as a guide to working through your character strengths and really add in as much detail in the doing as possible. So think about your self-care habits. Think about some of the tools that you are learning throughout other modules that you can incorporate there. Kind of like the stop and pause technique. What are other things? Really try to at least give yourself three to six habits under the doing for each one of those character strengths. So I hope you enjoy working through this worksheet so that you can really activate being your best self and having so much present in your life as a result of you being the best version of you. So next, take a look at the self-reflection exercise that accompanies this module and let's see how we're progressing and working through our character strengths. I look forward to seeing you in video three.